Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. The boss, well, the big boss of three, well, World Three Naval Piranhas Castle, and you'll know you'll know why it's called Naval Piranha when we actually get into it, and it's gonna be hilarious, ish. Anyway, <laughs> so we got these guys. So you see, they're just kind of tra trapped ghosts, I believe they're called, or, or something like that, and they shoot Shy Guys. Obviously, that means you need to back them off with Shy Guys. But the thing about it is that as he recovers, he'll continue. <laughs> so you, you gotta kind of do that at a sort of brisk pace, otherwise he'll recover, and you also gotta get enough eggs ahead of time to be able to pull that off. And yeah, that could be quite an issue. Now you'll, you'll see this uh, new little guy just roaming around there. Uh, he's coming. He's coming. Well, yeah, you actually see him. Well, there we go. <laughs> I forgot the name of him offhand, but he's impervious to everything, basically, and he'll, he'll eat you, he'll spit out the baby, it'll be burning a lot of time. Raphael the Raven, I remember you. <laughs> And yeah, they just, just kind of move around a specific hard block area, I guess you could say. They can go through platforms, like you've seen it went through that particular corner and whatnot, but they don't they don't specifically aim for you. They're just there to be an obstacle, basically. Uh, I forgot what is, the, what is the actual optional way to go, though. I guess it was this way. And uh, maybe it was. Yep, I guess it was. Oh yeah, all for one red coin, and I guess one extra one up from <laughs> from collecting. Um, wait a minute, hold on a sec. I just realized that's not that's not right because I can't. I don't think I can come back from that. I think there's stuff hidden in the water though, uh, in some of these areas, if I recall correctly. I could be wrong about that though. Um, uh, maybe it's not here. Oh, there was something hidden in that water. <laughs> <laughs> what was it, though? Can I get it to respawn? Because uh, I wasn't really paying much attention as to what it was. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I'll have to look back at the footage or something like that. Unless I can, I can, I can go far enough away that I can get it to respawn. Maybe. Maybe. By the way, the water is obviously a current, so... Uh, yeah, it'll push you around. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Um, anyway, the things that I'm looking for, like, under the water, are mostly towards the edges and stuff like that. Uh, I don't recall there being anything hidden in the water in the middle. I think it's because it's just too much surface area to look through. So, it's like, once a player finds one, then they'll be able to find the rest of them. Because now we got a sort of kind of piranha plant gauntlet of sorts. <laughs> Oh, this is the tutorial on the egg deflection area. See, so it's try to throw an egg at the arrow, and hello! You can get coins placed underneath. Remember, I, I showed you, yeah, the, the water skipping technique in the last part? Well, <laughs> well, this is the way to practice it. This is the level. And now it was because of this neat little technique that this level, believe it or not, was the first level that I 100%ed in Yoshi's Island. Whoops, I'll just get that manually. <laughs> Because I found that really cool, and I thought, hmm, let's use that to look for stuff, just for the fun of it. And I just ended up 100%ing the level, because I also happen to be pretty good at the boss. And I can get these coins directly, but see, let's use an egg instead. It'll skip on the surface of the water to collect the coins. Whoa, oh, I said, there we go. <laughs> There's also a flower down there. Uh, oops. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so obviously, as he said, you can you you can go down here to get it and then just hop out of it when you're ready to do that. But the thing about it is that's that's not the idea of the tutorial. It's just <laughs> you can do that if you want to, but it's not quite as interesting as actually practicing your egg deflections. Roses are red, violets are blue. Never forget what I say to you. Timing is vital. Aim must be true. Measure the angle and win the do. Okay. <laughs> it's a little bit trickier on this one because the angle is. Yeah, it's a little bit. Oh shoot! The angle's a little bit 
Oh, it sunk! Yeah, I can only do so many skips before it'll actually sink under the water, and I should probably refill on eggs, because I've been pretty, pretty lenient about that. So, yeah, obviously, again, you can jump down there to get it, but the idea is to skip the skip your egg on the water. I was going to say skip your ball on the water, but that's obviously not it. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, um, I don't remember if there is a pathway of no return coming up. I don't... Mm, well, this is a no return pathway for sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now that one will actually go down and around, if I recall correctly. You know, I, I gotta look up the name of that enemy, hold on. Okay, I can't believe I forgot the name of it, but it's Hootie the Blue Fish. Yeah, it's a reference to Hootie and the Blowfish. That's why I wanted to, I really wanted to remember this enemy name, because it referenced something. <laughs> for some reason, I could not remember it for the life of me. Alright, let's, oh, let's eat a couple more Raphael the Ravens. And head on down through here. Because <laughs> why not? Um, uh, I think I want to make it a little bit safer here, and then I can use this to pop the other one. <laughs> oh, I was actually able to get extra stars for popping the other one along with that. There's also some secret stuff hidden underneath. Alright, so... So, I think this is... Optional. Well, unless you're going for 100%. Nipper spores. Oh, that's what was in the water! It was, uh, a Lakitu underwater. It's like a. Uh, I forgot the name of them, too. It's like Scuba Lakitu or something like that. I don't really remember. <laughs> but that's the thing that I must have jumped on, uh, in the water of that other area. So, yeah. Oh, another trapped ghost. Uh, I do have enough eggs for this, but it's gonna be a little trickier. Because we got Hootie and the... Well, Hootie the Blue Fish hanging out over there. Um, but yeah, I think I need to get back through there using his power of Shy Guy spawning. That's that's where Shy Guys are born, kids. Oh, shoot! I just lost my eggs. Lost my baby. Yeah, when you, when you go inside the piranha plant, it uh, automatically kind of makes you lose... Ah, oh, shoot. Lose your eggers. I can go back to the trap ghost, but... This is gonna take a while. There we go! Okay, I fill up on eggs. I can safely get this with a relatively good speed after a nice cut. And uh, I actually got the name of these ghosts wrong. They're caged ghosts, not trapped ghosts. Well, it's kinda kinda close enough if you think about it, so yeah. I just yeah, I looked up the names of these two offhand just to make sure that I got it right. And you'll notice that when when you sunk sink them enough into whoops, when you sink them enough into whatever hole they came out of, their faces actually disappear, which is kind of funny. Uh, but it's it's getting tight here, getting tight here, and that does hurt you if you touch those goals too. So yeah, yeah. All right, now that we got that secret route taken care of and our eggs refilled. We can go back around through here and explore other stuff. Obviously, be careful of nippers. Well, nipper spores. I don't know if this is the way to go forward, though. I think it's optional. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, it's not optional, as I always say, if, you, if you're going for 100%, but... Yeah, I'm always looking for those optional, I guess you could say, secret routes first, rather than the, the route forward, because of the whole, oh shoot, I forgot I didn't eat that last one. <laughs> because of the, um, the whole thing of that sometimes you just can't go back, and that could be troublesome, so yeah. Alright. Ooh, another tricky one. Cage ghosts, you're going down. And by down, I mean you're gonna be shrunk. Yeah, shoot, I didn't think I'd get it off that run because of Hootie. <laughs> Dang you, Hootie. Dang you, Hootie. Okay, let's refill again. <laughs> come on, come on. Yes. Come on, come on. This is why I cut from before, because refilling over here is kind of kind of time-consuming, plus all the back I mean, the backtracking that I had to do before. All right. Deflect off that little off that little corner there, that's how you are able to shoot an egg 
down at said piranha plant, and I might as well grab another egg too as well while I'm at it. And here is why they taught you how to do the deflection shot, because doing this out of the water is kind of awkward, especially with that platform up above you. So, yep, this is... It's, I guess you could say more mandatory than the other ones, but you can you can indeed pull off a uh, a little bit of a like a really quick masterful straight shot through there. I guess you could say um, you can actually get this one right through the platform, so <laughs> so that's kind of a uh, unnecessary bouncing area there. And it's, Oh, I guess there wasn't any red coins in the water like I thought there were. I wonder what level I'm thinking of that had the, the red coins in the water, but I am doing pretty good. <laughs> uh, I just want to see here. Oh, there's, there's a nice way to get some stars. It's, uh, it's going to be a delightful way to fill up before the midpoint. If I can pull off... Uh, there we go. I was going to say, if I can pull off getting up above 20, because uh, the midpoint, as you know, will always give you 10, so, yeah. Oh, maybe there's no midpoint uh, after that. Hmm... I don't want to go into the boss's lair before I do this, just for the sake of safety. Like, if there's a midpoint, I'll, I'll be sad that I wasted those stars for nothing, but I did unlock the next bonus level anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter that much. It's still the thing of that. If I wouldn't have gotten that, and I would have went through this door, because I believe this is the place of, yep, no items allowed here. So, alright, now we cannot take a hit on the boss whatsoever. Uh, there's an interesting little uh, glitch that you can do to, uh, well, not, 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 excuse me, not a glitch. It's an interesting little trick that you can do to just kill this boss without actually battling it. If you come into here with eggs, and I really want to 100% this, so I'm going to show you this first before I do the boss normally. Uh, what we got to do is, come on, get the camera over. Oh, come on. It's up on that platform. Yes, I did it! I killed it! Oh my! There's a piranha plant up there that you can kill before Kemek transforms it into naval piranha. And, oh, it's not <laughs> too far off screen to show the, <laughs> the key. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> See, that's not a glitch, it's purposefully done. I don't know why I called it a glitch, but... Yeah, it's more like a super secret thing there. And there... We go! 100% without beating the boss normally! <laughs> Extra 3 is now open as well, but of course you want to see me play the boss. Uh, normally, don't ya? Don't ya? Of course you do. So I'm gonna go back into the level, and, well, after this cutscene, I guess, and defeat that boss post-haste after a cut. After this cutscene. <laughs> and there goes the sewer castle. Voila! Another bland has been marked by Yoshi. Hopefully not sent marked, though. <laughs> Alright! <laughs> We're back to the Red Doors of Doom! And also, this is what would normally happen if you didn't know about that little off-screen kill-the-boss trick thing. Because you jump up here, and then it automatically starts this cutscene. So that's why you gotta do it before you get up here. Give up, Yoshi, you egg-throwing maniac! Oops, uh, forget that. What? What? Anyway. <laughs> so, here is the real deal boss, which we killed before it even transformed into its fully evolved naval piranha, and this is where you've absolutely got to get that uh, deflection shot mastered. You see, it's got that navel down there, it's got a bandage on it, and that's its weakness. And, uh, it's so obviously... Yup. <laughs> then it goes over to the other side, and it slams its head in there. Uh, those, the uh, naval, I mean, those, uh, naval piranha buds there, just, they're just kinda, they're just kinda there, they're just, just a part of the boss, I mean, you don't really do much of anything in this whole boss situation. Uh, if you ever, if you should ever run out of eggs, you can, 
Oh yeah, it does that little tricky maneuver too, but normally I'd have more eggs in here and just wipe them out quickly before it does anything, but I'm just showing you some stuff that he's got here. If you run out of eggs, you can, he'll, he'll, uh, you can just wait for him to spew some little nipper spores there, and there we go. You can just refill your stuff, and yeah, do that as many times as you need to, but it only takes a couple of hits to defeat him, so it's a, it's a pretty easy boss as long as you do this rhythmically along, along the way here, just, you know, just let him go over to one side, like hit him in the belly button, jump over him, let him go to the other side, flip around, make his belly button vulnerable, etc, etc, and then victory is yours! <laughs> so it's not a hard boss or anything like that, but you can skip it entirely by by just killing off the regular piranha plant before Kemek can transform it into its larger form, I guess you could say. And there we go! Woo! A double win on the level. <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I probably will do extra three and bonus three, because Extra 3 is sort of short if everything goes pretty well, so the bonus 3 can be like the supplement. But if it goes really quickly, I guess I'll end up going over to World 1 like I did over with the uh, Poochie Ain't Stupid video. <laughs>